Hello everyone and welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Scott Clifton's character may currently be suffering heartache and confusion on the bold and the beautiful, due to Hope's fling with Thomas and Liam's re-emerging feelings for Steffi. Nonetheless, the CBS soap actor found something to be joyfully about in the real world. There's nothing better than making little discoveries while out wandering around in nature, and in the case of Clifton, he did just that, but in his own yard. The actor posted two photos on social media of a praying mantis, one taking a time out on a leaf and another walking along what appears to be a deck rail, and shared, small dose of joy whenever I see one of these guys in my yard. Farms loved the pics, and some even shared their own feelings about the insect. In fact, Dawn C. Paget explained, several years back, I had one on the tire of my car. She had babies, and there must have been 100 tiny praying mantises all over my car. I couldn't drive my car for a few days. And while Gina Herrick loves seeing them too, she recently found a dead one, and it made her sad. However, we got a kick out of another fan, who had a whole other reaction to Clifton's post and stated, I would have the same feeling if I saw Scott in my yard. Yep, we're sure that would be said for many, and really, could you imagine, heading outside and find Clifton standing in your yard? Yep, pure joy indeed. While we wait to see how things progress on the Liam slash Hope slash Steffi front, find out where the character landed in gallery below. We should have seen it coming. The signs were all there. For ages, it seemed as if the bold and the beautiful was repositioning Shayla Carter as a hard luck heroine. And now that she's engaged to Daddy Deacon Sharp, the new Shayla is in full effect. Never mind that on The Young and the Restless, the madwoman stole Lauren Fenmore's husband and son and tried to kill her and her own mother. Never mind that on The Bold and the Beautiful, she shot Taylor Hayes, Brooke Logan, Stephanie Forrester, Steffi Forrester and her own son, Finn Finnegan. The show appears to want us to root for her now, to feel for her, to believe that all she's ever really wanted was love. Are you buying it? Heaven knows Kimberlyn Brown sells the material, but the writing demands that we excuse countless crimes, hashtag justice fallen stay, and a pattern of behavior that indicates that Shayla would squander a two hundredth chance, never mind a second one. She isn't just broken, she's dangerously shattered. Regrets, she's had a few. If the character wasn't so far off her rocker that she could no longer even see the chair, she cut her losses, walk the straight and narrow, keep a low profile and live happily ever after with Deacon. But she has so many screws loose, it's a wonder that she's held together at all. Even after attempting to murder Finn's wife in cold blood, Sheila still thinks that she has a shot at a relationship with her son. She still thinks that she deserves a shot. Simply put, she doesn't. She is a two-year-old who acts out when she isn't given the candy that she wants. The tantrum, or, in Shayla's case, the rampage, doesn't prove the sincerity of her desires, it proves her inability to accept the consequences of her actions. Her perspective isn't just skewed, it's altogether missing. She is a walking id, thinking only of herself at all times. Yet when Shayla's engagement to Deacon ends, and it must, right, and badly, the bold and the beautiful will expect us to feel sorry for the would-be bride, with you? Or will you be munching popcorn and reveling in the spectacle of karma catching up to the maniac who left the forester's original nanny a paraplegic, poisoned Stephanie, imprisoned James Warwick, weaponized daughter Mary, knocked Brooke off the wagonade we go on? Perhaps finally we'll be headed toward a hood Janet for the ages, the murder mystery that lays Sheila to rest, at least temporarily. If only the good die young, she probably won't ever kick the bucket. Check out the photo gallery below to consider the growing number of people who'd like to send Shayla.